Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. As you know, the world of AI is constantly evolving, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Today, we are thrilled to announce the arrival of a game changer in this industry, Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. It might be regarded as the next generation of AI because this is one of the most powerful models out there in the market. This next generation language model packs a serious punch, offering unprecedented capabilities in reasoning, understanding, and generating creative text format. Here you can see on your screen, this is blog. It says Gemini 1.5, our next generation model, now available for private preview in Google AI Studio. It's not released for public yet. It's in private preview mode, so it won't be available for everyone. But I will tell you how to get access to this amazing, powerful model. If you scroll down, here you can see that developers can sign up for private preview of Gemini 1.5 Pro. So if you just click on this link, so I already have submitted the form. So it says like you're on the wait list. It says we'll send an email to let you know about what's their decision. Okay. If you scroll down, now you can see that it has increased the token number like almost 1 million tokens so that's really amazing thing before it had only like 0 0.2 million tokens now it increased it up to 1 million tokens so that's really great so now if you just scroll down you can see that they have some use cases as well suppose if you upload files you can upload multiple files now and then you can ask questions that's really amazing okay they say like we have added the ability for developers to upload multiple files like pdfs and ask questions in google ai studio that's why they increase the context window because you know that the pdfs could be like really long so they have increased the token context window 1 million so that's really great now you can query an entire code repository you can simply upload a code repository and ask questions related to that that's really awesome and amazing. I am literally amazed, like how Google's AI game is going forward. Now you can add a full length video as well. So that would be something really interesting. You can see that it just uploaded a video and it's asking like summarize the plot in a sentence. And it did that, you can see. That's really great. And it says like more ways for developers to build with Gemini models. I already love Gemini Pro model and Gemini Pro Vision. They are the best. The best part of these models is that you can design an application in Google AI Studio and get code and then you can implement that system anywhere. It's that simple. You can read more about the blog here. Let's move on to Google AI Studio and see like how this thing actually looks, okay? So you need to go to like this thing, aistudio.google.com forward slash app. It will open up this window. You can read about their terms of service and you need to accept. That's important. Click on continue. And now you can see here that Gemini 1.5 Pro experiment. You can join waitlist from here as well. So it will open up a form in this way, okay? So what you can do, you can select your profession. If you're a software engineer, product manager, designer, data scientist, anyone, okay? So I will choose the software engineer and intended use to create an application, to create an application that generates new content, to create a chatbot, to create an application, okay? So that's important. And then you can simply click on join with my Google account. So it will add you on the wait list, but we can still experiment some of its features, okay? We can upload a file and we can upload folders as well. So let's try to see some of the use cases it can offer to us. So all right, first of all, I'll try to upload a file. I'll try to upload a research paper, which I already have downloaded. It's just for sample to show you guys how capable this thing could be. So it's loading, you can see right over here. It will take a while to load up this file for you. All right, the research paper has been uploaded successfully. I can simply ask it, provide me a long summary for this paper. Let me just submit. Yeah, you can see right over here that this is the summary of this research paper. And I am literally impressed how efficiently it just produced this. I have created a project uh, previously as well of document summarization. In that, what you had to do, you had to convert the document into vector database 
then fetch the results from there. So Google has made this thing a lot easier. This is one use case which could be implemented. PDF summarization, you can add multiple PDFs as well. It's that simple. Now let's see if it can actually perform data analysis tasks. So I can upload a CSV file in here. Let it just finish. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Now I can ask it how many columns are there in this data set, provide a list. So you can see right over here that it just provided me with this list and this is our data set. Let me just show you the column names, player, dismissal, runs, balls, minutes, four, sixes, strike rate, team, opponent, innings and match ID. So it's really spot on here. So let me just ask some other questions as well. Like which player has hit most number of sixes? Let's see. It says like Muhammad Rizwan has hit most number of sixes. I don't think so. It's not possible to hit like 185 sixes in a tournament. All right. Now I asked it like which player has most centuries from our data. But this data set does not have any information about centuries. You can see right over here. It has the information of four sixes, but it doesn't have any information about the century. So it says that the provided data does not contain any information. So I cannot extract the requested data from the provided context. It's doing like a decent job where we can upload a CSV file and can extract information from that. Let's see if I say like, provide me a Python script to fetch number of fours hit by David Warner. Let's see. That's awesome. You can see how amazing this script is. If you run the script and provide this data, you will definitely get number of fours that were hit by David Warner. So it's actually doing a decent job here. And I am literally impressed by this. So when you will get the access of Gemini 1.5 Pro, so you can simply click on get code to get code for this setting. Then you can simply create the application anywhere you want. So it would be that simple. Now let's try to see another use case. I will try to upload a complete code folder and we'll try to see if we can query the code documents as well or not. I'll simply click on upload. It says like uh, this can take a few minutes. So I'll wait for a while. All right, so our folder has successfully been uploaded. So for now, there is a serious issue of like token length because it's just providing us with 30,720 tokens. So if we upload like a large code repository, so we get out of tokens and we get an error. So once you'll get the access of Gemini 1.5 Pro, so this token length is going to be increased to 1 million. So that issue would be resolved. So let me ask it, what does this code repository do? Tell me about its purpose. Let's see. Well, this purpose seems great. It is actually telling me that it's a streamlit interface where users can input the prompt, okay? Uh, because I have removed like a lot of files from this repository. So this might not be the perfect one, but this is still a great response. Now I am asking it, which file is responsible for main streamlit UI? Let's see. All right. So you can see here that it says the app.py file is responsible for mainstream lit UI. So it also break down the key components of app.py file. It has sidebar. Okay. Then it has header, main body, user input and interaction. So to be honest, I am really impressed by this model, which is Gemini 1.5 Pro. For now, Google is not giving us the complete authority to this model. You can see that the video and image they have been blurred out and this response is basically coming from Gemini 1.0 Pro model. So we are not using Gemini 1.5 uh, yet, but it is expected. I'll get the access soon Then I will definitely try to create real world applications out of this great model. And I know it would be a lot easier than the other models like GPT-4 and some other open source as well, like Llama 2, because everything has been taken care of by Google. So that's really amazing. And I am in love with this model already. So let's see how it proceeds in the future. Stay tuned for future updates and developments as we continue to explore the potential of this groundbreaking model. Stay connected, subscribe to our channel, and may you have a wonderful day. Bye.